I'm going to show you one of the most toxic things that's probably living in your kitchen. And if you value the health of yourself and your family and of your dog, you probably want to stop using this immediately because it is linked to a bunch of very, very bad things that I'm going to discuss in this video. So let me just show you what we have here, okay? So the topic of discussion here is black plastic. So in case you're unaware, there was a series of articles that recently came out in October 2024 talking about the dangers of using black plastic, specifically in cookware. Anything that you cook with and anything that gets heated up. Now they were referring mostly to utensils, but when you dig into this, it doesn't stop there. It's actually anything that is made from black plastic. So let me give you a couple examples here. So first off, we have black plastic utensils, spatulas, we have serving spoons, it could be straining spoons, ladles, or other straining spoons. Pretty much any utensil. All right, that's the point I'm trying to make here. It doesn't matter what it is. It's any kind of utensil that you would use to consume food out of or use to prepare food. Now, of these, I'll show you this spatula here. So even though this is supposed to be made to withstand heat so that you can cook with it, you can see where the upper portion of this has actually started to melt. All right, you can kind of see that there. So every time this thing melts and every time it heats up, it is leaching harmful chemicals into your food. And these plastics can actually break free from the spatula and you essentially end up consuming the plastic as well. So not only are you leaching toxic substances into your food, but you're also consuming the plastic. Now the problem with this plastic in particular is that it contains brominated flame retardants. All right, so you can pretty much assume anything that contains a chemical that starts with brominated, like brominated vegetable oil, it's gonna be pretty freaking bad for your health. But these brominated flame retardants, the reason they're mostly in black plastics is because most of these black plastics are made from recycled electronic equipment. And that stuff is made to be resistant to fire. So they recycle it, they make it into utensils that you consume food with, and then you consume brominated flame retardants, which are known endocrine disruptors. What is an endocrine disruptor? It is a very harmful chemical that can affect pretty much every aspect of your body. Specifically, it is very detrimental to your hormone health. So it causes hormone dysfunction. It can cause metabolic dysfunction, which could lead to things like weight gain, obesity, diabetes. It's linked to cancer. It's linked to neurological disorders and abnormal brain development, especially in children. These plastics and the chemicals in them are also known to cause reproductive harm. So what does that mean? Well, it means that it can cause things like infertility. It has an estrogenic effect in men and women. So it can cause a decrease of testosterone in men and increased risk of breast cancer in women specifically. It could cause an increase of estrogen in women, which basically throws your hormones all out of balance and can lead to reproductive issues. So something else they're finding in there are heavy metals such as lead and antimony, which are known neurotoxins and are also endocrine disruptors, which are linked to all those bad things I just talked about. All that stuff, it can affect thyroid function, it can cause inflammation in the body, and it can actually even lead to organ damage and just overall disruption in your entire body, which is not a good thing. And the really, really bad thing about this also is that it also is bioaccumulative, meaning it builds up in your body over time. So as you use these plastic utensils over and over and over, that stuff is going to accumulate in your body. It is very, very hard for your body to get rid of, and eventually, it is going to destroy your health. So this spoon right here, for example, all right, this is a straining spoon. And as you can see, I've used this. I fell victim to this trap. And if my camera will focus here, you can see where this actually got so hot that it bubbled up here, okay? <laughs> these, these dimples here, this is from where it heated up. And it essentially boiled the plastic, all right? So you can imagine the kind of toxins and chemicals that was leaching from this spoon as I was using it. And again, it doesn't stop there, okay? So exhibit B, I have a coffee maker, all right? Black plastic on top. This is the same 
type of material. Because again, in these articles, if you read through them, which I will link them below, you're gonna see that it's pretty much anything that's made from black plastic is gonna have these brominated flame retardants in there. So again, another part of the coffee maker, the upper part, the cup where the grounds go, this heats up. And when your coffee is getting sifted through here, and it's getting strained through here, the chemicals in this plastic, as it heats up, is going to leach out into the water and into your coffee. So you gotta think that, you know, all these things that we're told are bad or that we think are bad, for example, coffee and things like that, I'm not a coffee drinker. I just happen to have this coffee pot in my house because certain people that come around me drink coffee and I like to accommodate people. But, you know, we're, we're kind of told and we kind of, a lot of us believe that coffee is bad for us. Maybe it's not necessarily the coffee, but everything that comes along with it, like all the toxic substances that are leaching out of this plastic into the coffee. Maybe that's actually what's causing a lot of this, a lot of the dysfunction. Because if you think about all these natural, I guess, foods, and the fact that, you know, a lot of this stuff we've probably been consuming for thousands of years, like coffee, it's been basically drank for thousands of years, and it's something that culturally has probably played a pretty big role in the human experience, I guess you could say, for a very, very long time. And over that long period of time, it's hard to really say if there was negative effects like there are today. Maybe we just drink more of it. And I'm sure there's other bad stuff in coffee. But again, all these extra things that are getting added in there now, all these endocrine disruptors that's causing metabolic dysfunction, and all the terrible things that us as a country are plagued with today, you got to wonder if that stuff plays a big role in that. So one other thing I'll show you is another thing, black plastic containers. Again, anything black plastic. Now, personally, I don't use plastic anymore. I got away from that. I use it for some things to store like things in the freezer sometimes because it's just so convenient and it is really hard to store stuff in the freezer depending on what it is in like glass or, or something like that all the time. So I use this for my wet rock, which is what I use to sharpen my knives. And I basically put my wet rock in here and I let it soak overnight and then I sharpen my, my carbon steel knives. But if you're using this to cook food in, and keeping in mind also that a lot of convenience meals come in black plastic containers like this, it'll be a bowl with like a plastic layer that you peel off the top. That is going to be very, very bad heated up, especially in the microwave, because all that black plastic is gonna leach into your food and you're gonna be consuming all the toxic substances from the plastic and those brominated flame retardants. So something else to add to this, just to wrap things up here, there's another article that came out this year in 2024 that shows that the average American has 0.5% microplastics in their brain by weight. All right, so <laughs> to, to think about that, that's like if you, took, if you took your brain out of your skull, you set it on the counter, and you cut it up into 200 pieces. One piece of that, which is probably going to be a fairly decent sized piece, is going to be nothing but plastic. That's, that's basically what they're saying. And that is a terrifying thing to think about. And again, it comes down to the fact that your body can't detox this stuff when you consume these microplastics and all these harmful substances. Your body can't get rid of it. And it basically goes in there. They found it in pretty much every tissue in the human body. It's in people's blood. It's in their organs. It's in their lungs because we're inhaling this stuff in our environment because it's so prevalent now. And now it's in our brains. So if you want to improve your health, please do yourself this favor and get rid of black plastic. Rid that from your life. Substitute it with stainless steel, which would be something like this. You can get these on Amazon. I'll put some links in the description below because I just recently bought a set. And you know, these spoons right here, it's the exact same thing, but it's not black plastic, okay? Spatula even. You got serving spoons. Just get rid of that stuff. Stainless steel is a great option. If you're worried about this stuff damaging your other cookware, or scratching, you know, non-stick coatings, which are also very bad, and I'll do another video about that. But if you're worried about that, you can get wood or bamboo. And, 
you know, you have to consider how you're going to clean these things because wooden bamboo isn't going to clean as easily. And you do have to kind of worry about germs when it comes to that kind of stuff. But that's also another great option. And, you know, some people will recommend silicone. To me, I mean, I understand silicone is supposed to be safe and all this stuff. You don't really know what the quality of the silicone is and if there's anything else in there. So I kind of veer away from that too just because it's a rubber-like substance. I don't trust it. So I always opt for the stainless steel. And you don't have to worry about scratching the coatings on your pan when you use stainless or you use cast iron or you cook on the grill, which is what I do 99.9% .9 of the time. So just be very mindful of this kind of stuff. You know, these simple changes, they can have drastic improvements on your overall health. And the, the more we can limit our toxic exposure, the better off we're going to be. So again, I'll put links in the description below to all these articles so you can kind of research this yourself. You can read more in detail about just how detrimental this stuff actually is. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Definitely comment below and let me know if you're still using this stuff, if you plan to swap or if you've already swapped. And just let me know what your overall thoughts are about this. Me personally, I'm just tired of being poisoned from every facet of our lives. But I'm just like everybody else. I'm learning all this stuff as I go. And I'm just trying to pass on the information so that I can help other people out there. And that's what this tribe is all about. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to like, subscribe, join the Apex Tribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace out.